Is your family making you fat? And I think, honestly, that's a very important topic. Oh, oh, oh. I think it's a very important topic. I think it's very fucking important to understand how important the people that we surround ourselves are and their impact on how we formulate our habits and how we perpetuate our habits and our bad habits. It's a serious concern. This is that time of year where you're around people that are going to criticize you. A lot of people have resolutions that start. A lot of people get kicked off. A lot of people get pushed off and get encouraged to not pursue and to not continue and they get razzed for it. A lot of people get fit shamed, believe it or not. Usually whenever I have a hard hitting message that comes across without any kind of filter, right? I don't sweeten it. I just fucking say it. This often happens. A lot of you have been asking me. I was going to go live earlier, but obviously we're here right now. So just keep it in mind that I do post a daily video, whether it's a clip from the podcast, whether it's a standalone video, nuts on chin, like I post every single day. There's always a clip. So you can always check. And if it's not earlier in the morning, then I'm in the afternoon, but every day there's a clip. So if you don't see a notification, just check the channel because it'll be there. When it comes to the reality of the situation, this is where mindfulness and this is where meditation, this is where a real introspection has all the strength in the world. We always go to the gym to strengthen ourselves physically. But what about training our brains? What about training the way that we think about our own existence and our situations? If we realize by examining our actions and examining our lives honestly and independently without bias, like really that's where meditation thrives because it takes away your ego enough that you can have a little bit more of a third party. You can understand and see from the outside what some of the decisions that you're making, how they can be leading to negative outcomes. It gives you more perspective, in my opinion, for my experiences. If you realize what triggers and you realize what certain pathways, certain thought processes take you down, certain triggers by spending time in certain situations, being around certain people, this is why having an inner circle that's strong, like what we have here, Swole Fam, and those of you that are members of Swole Normous X and this tight-knit community, this is why we call it a family, because we're here and we have a lot of different backgrounds. We're in a lot of different locations. We have a lot of different goals and experiences and, you know, a lot of different realities, essentially. But we, we're in here for the same reason. You know, you don't want to be kind of tired of being clouded, tired of being clouded, tired of being fed nonsense, tired of being fed fucking supplements and quick fixes and just the fitness industry not really being about fitness, just being about selling programs or being about being a part of a team. This is a unique situation where we are part of a team, but it's an all-encompassing team. It's, you want to leave your bullshit at the fucking door? You can be here. You can be here if you are willing to leave your fucking trash at the door. Leave your fucking ideologies, leave your bullshit, leave your I know everything, and let's make some fucking gains, and let's customize things for ourselves, and let's ignore the different flags, and allow people to formulate their better, their best path for nutrition and for training. And it's important to understand that certain things need certain fucking needs. If you want to look a certain way, you should probably train a certain way, because otherwise you won't look a certain way. If you want to function a certain way or perform a certain way, you got to train a certain way and you know, hard work and genetics. And there's a lot of things we don't understand. People need to back the fuck off themselves. And this idea that they're just going to have any kind of ability to know everything and that there is one correct way and that you can't change your mind and you can't change your approach. Can't be rigid because you're going to change as you get older. The way I train myself now, the way I think about my training, the way I think about my nutrition is much different than it's ever been before. And it should be. I'm a different person. I have a different mindset. I have a different approach. I have a different goal. I have a different schedule. I have different passions, you know, and I have different things that I want to focus more attention on. And we only have so much attention. We only have so much time and we only have so much attention that we can give to these things, that we can lend to these activities and lend to whatever we're trying to focus on. So it's important that we use that wisely and minimize the shit that gets in the way. And of course, a lot of you have heard about, you know, minimalist lifestyles and, you know, whether or not you want to have a minimalist kitchen or living room and feng shui and whatever you want to do for a styling, the mindset of minimalist and eliminating the resistance that's keeping you from doing the things that you need to do. Make your life easier. Make your life more efficient. Focus on less things so you can do better at more things. Stop spreading yourself so thin. So I've been doing a lot of that with my own personal training, my nutrition, just my way of living has kind of, you know, adjusted and molded more towards where I am right now. And it's okay to change. And it's important to change. If you don't change, that's how you get hurt or that's how you end up falling off. If you lift based on your identity and what you've always done, it's going to affect your progress moving forward because you'll hold on to training methodologies that might not suit your needs currently because it's just something you've always done. 
people that have been training heavy for a long time have a real hard time not training as heavy. And people that have done a lot of cardio for a long time, and let's say they have certain desires that will require them to focus more training on lifting rather than cardio, then they have a hard time not doing so much cardio. They feel like they're missing something. So it's hard to change physiologically, physically, psychologically. It's a constant adjustment, but the more you're paying attention, you're more the more introspective you are and the more aware that you are, you can learn a lot more about your body and how to customize as you develop and as you go through these different phases and seasons of life. Thanks for watching, fam. Make sure to subscribe to the Daily Soul podcast on YouTube so you can catch the live streams every single day. These